right here. I was caught slipping last week, but ain't gonna happen. So we, we, we back at Mooresville again to test. Yeah. What's uh what we got going on different from last time? So I talked to my buddy out in Texas, Jonathan Bailey. His YouTube is Bailey Brothers Racing. Hey right, guys, I'll put a link in the description he's been down big below. Guy. So he's got a similar car like mine. Uh, basically, kind of similar combo, except he's still E85 air to water. Twin turbo, basically. We basically run about the same times. I think we're kind of close. He may be a little bit faster, but his car works really good. And there's not a lot of people that know prep these cars or kind of do what we do. You know, everybody's kind of on the radio prep stuff. And, I mean, that's kind of what it is here today, which is fine. But we're getting some good testing and learning. So we, he had that he has on his car. He helped me out. Uh, we put some spring purges on it because we put some shocks on it. And I don't think the springs were heavy enough for the rear weight bias that we have. So it was squatted really hard. And it took all the bar angle out of the car. So it's got all new yeah. springs and the other yeah, new think, shocks. I think it was, uh, yeah, it's got this, still the same shocks, but I think it was. You know, the bar angle was so far going at the bottom of the shock out because the spring couldn't hold the weight of the car up. And uh, so we tried a few things with that and it wasn't working. It was bouncing real bad. I mean, we lost a tenth and a half in the 60 foot and then two or three tenths out the back on a much faster tune-up than we just went on this one. So put the spring parts on there, heavier, shorter spring to help with the weight. Tighten them up, raise the ride height up, got it back to kind of where it used to be. It's got the bar angle back in it. And the shocks are actually working really well, so there was nothing wrong with the shocks to begin with. So, uh, wasn't really sure if the shocks were not valved right when we needed them, but I think I think they're working now. I think our issue was just maybe we had a little bit of miscommunication on the probably the weight bias of the car and kind of what weight spring it may have needed. And, you know, it might be a learning experience for uh, the future with other people that try to do the similar setup. Yeah, maybe. Pass it along. Um, so, I mean, we're not trying to give away too much secrets, but I think we're on to something now with the ride height leveled out. And reset the air roll bar back neutral. And, I mean, it didn't go PV off the trailer, but it's on a it's, slower tune. And yeah. it matched a mile an hour of the PV with half a tenth slower 60 foot. So, hopefully on this next pass, I'll show you the slip on this one. But, and also, too, last time we were here, we was on a slick. Yeah. And this time we're on a pro, pro bracket. bracket. So, like, like I said, said, you've already got your first pass in. And already seen pretty much pretty good pretty good first pass off the trailer. Yeah, it's a whole new combo. I mean, still working things out. Done a lot of testing, burned a lot of fuel. So you know, you don't get you know, you probably shouldn't have raced last weekend. Honestly, anyways, just knowing that the car had issues with the suspension. But but then again, that's you, fine. yeah, that's part of that's part of racing. You, yeah. Sometimes you just got to go on the fly. Even though we try to test everything, we changed. But I know we did get crunched a yeah, little on time. Everything too much before. Really, only did three hits. Knowing the car wasn't working, you could physically look at the car and it was it was, happy. it was squatted down. It was tucking the tire pretty good. I wasn't happy with it. We tried to fight it, knocked a lot of power out of it. It went like a 140 some 60 foot at the event. So I mean, it, probably the slowest pass this setup's made the whole time. You know, can't make excuses, but you know, he showed up to race with what we had, and obviously it wasn't enough. So. You get caught slipping every once in a while. You just learn from that mistake. Move on to the next one. Well, we'll get it uh, ready and get a, get a few more passes in for that. And you gonna jump in the uh, outlaw thing than that? Yeah, I mean, it's free entry, so it's kind of nice to see where you stack up with, with some faster cars. I mean, there were some fast cars this past weekend, but these boys are on a whole different level. Uh, yeah, that they are. All right, then. Like I said, the, the car, like I said, it would look just so much happier first pass there. So. Just gonna keep creeping up on it. Yeah, we'll fill it up, pack the chute, try to make another one before the driver's meeting or you can do it after either way. That way I have enough time to turn back around. Alright, let's get it ready. sideways and I didn't feel it in the car and power wheel it a little bit and so. if, if I didn't notice it on the video right there they can go back and watch I'll, I'll, I'll throw a little slow mo right it. here I'll slow mo it it was toting the left front I think we had the right front a little bit on the ground it was 
kind of pulling that way and when I sat it down it, it got out of the groove and the concrete to come back. I think if I was racing somebody I could have stabbed back in yeah. it. Been fun. It's pretty good ways out yeah. there when it started. It picked up to the 60 foot of the 330 so I, love it. I think I think we'll try to keep the front on the ground it'll be all right. That probably would have been my pass right there. But how how was your uh, 330? It was almost a full 10 faster. I might try to add a little power before the 330, which I think it's all in right now before then anyway. I'm going to double check and see. So yeah. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens here. You pulled up. I didn't even know you was coming. Robbie Dunn made a pass. We was all here, blah, 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 whatever. And here you come rolling in. Yeah, and man. now I'm getting a chance to talk to you. You got one pass in already. Yeah, off the trailer, man, it went down. It's on the rails. Uh, and, I mean, it went a good number. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, you can see it. It's crazy. So, I don't know. I think we'll do good. Uh, starting to learn a holly with Robbie's help. And uh, that's my first ramp that I built over a week's period of time uh but i'm you know we're still conservative on the car um i did have to let out a split second i didn't hear my shifter uh pop uh but it went good man i'm tickled to death uh i figured i'd just come down here and join the party uh <laughs> see what it does just have fun now you're jumping in that uh yeah the modern modern yeah they have a little shootout tonight so i mean yeah. i was like i said i didn't know you were coming at all no, I'm prepared and get ready for Robbie. Do everything he's running 704 Outlaws. The next thing I know, I'm like, yeah. wow. Like, well, hey, yeah, why not? Make it a party. Yeah, man. Like any chance that I get out here and collect data, this is the sixth pass since uh, the 828 uh, cash days. That was the sixth run. So uh, now I'm just gonna keep chopping away at it, dragging some ramps. Good go, bro. <laughs> oh man, that's promo over there. Hard <laughs> yeah, needs a green ass ten in trouble. I, but your tag, your tag's the one that says Pro Mod. Yeah, I got conned into that. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, let's see if we can get him right here. Can you give his attention right there? Right. You gotta keep the front tires on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got to do a little taming on his. And like I said, we'll get you guys ready for this uh, little shootout here. Yeah, so. I really like some rounds, man. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Here we go, first round of 704 Outlaws. Classic. Ford versus Chevy here. Camaro versus Mustang, however you guys want to put it. and draw the Mustang, so here we go. Well, you hate to get a win on a red light, but we'll take it. All right, here we go, next round of Modern. Thank you, man. 
finally coming in right now I mean the suspension's working uh, the motor is working making really good power um, I mean it was it was just a really good uh, good night for us um, and you know I really wanted to win this one here uh, just you know, my, my uncle passed and uh, you know that's one of the one of the ways that I wanted to leave that man he was a really big uh, big fan of ours and he really enjoyed racing and you know what better way to to win after you know his his passing so um i just want to thank everybody man that's involved in it um uh, my dad my wife amanda um uh, carolina performance dino um uh, you know all good people um uh, got a lot left in the car um uh, got a long drive home <laughs> but i'm excited to uh actually uh start putting power into the car and being competitive again and uh i just look forward to chipping away man Sounds good. Yeah. Like I said, congratulations again. You yep. said you, said you got a long drive. That's why I'm catching as yeah, much as It's yeah, getting man. late here. You know, so thank the Lord for keeping all of us safe tonight. So. All right, Brandon. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. You know, we should have just stayed all night here last night. I'd have been better off. So, you done your thing last night. Brandon done his thing. And they offered a limited 28 class today. Yeah, it's a series they do here, too. Um, when I say limited 28s, give a little bit so people won't know what you're talking about. I think it's, I can tell you. Kind of <laughs> yeah, you double check, there's so much going on sometimes. They got some, it's a little more stricter rules than 
what they had last time, so it's... I'll get you here in a second. I think it's basically, there's like no boost of big blocks, uh, no after, uh, no after like stock firewall, uh, bolt on front suspension only, stock frame, stock floor till 16 inches behind the firewall, no wheelie bars, uh, stock bore space only, no billet heads or blocks, no boost of big blocks. So basically kind of a budget 28 class, I guess yeah. you could say. Or just pass them basically. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna give y'all shakedown pass anyway. So yeah, you'll probably see there's some heavy hitters here. So they're hanging out. Over there. there we go. I know they're getting ready for a big race. Good luck to them, Team Denver. There. I'll be donating to them today. <laughs> They'll probably win. So yeah, I know. I know they've been working hard on Jarrett's car. So I'm excited to see it run. I think they put a new turbo on it. They yeah. said so should be pretty fast. It should be. Well, like I said, we'll get you. Down I'll here and probably, get you to probably get a front row view with some tail lights. That's all right. Yes, yeah, everybody had to start somewhere. You kind of see where you stack up a little bit. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, we'll get you test pass in here, jump, jump in that class, and see how you do with it today. All right, here they go with their shakedown passes. Here we go, first round, limited 28, so there wasn't but four cars, so I mean, that's the way it, uh, that's the way it falls sometimes, but we're going to give it our best shot. Of course, we drawn Willie Dynamite, this is going to be tough anyway. So. That was a good race up top. Huh? Got that thing pushed off here? I'll roll it off with no ramps. Ain't you, ain't you just special there? Now that you're done goofing off with that car, what do you think of, uh, we'll start with Friday and carry over to Saturday. Playing where we shouldn't be playing. What? Playing where I shouldn't be playing. Well, yes and no, maybe. A little bit. So we went to race with the 704 Outlaws and changed a bunch of things that we talked about earlier in the video. And then first round, drew somebody I'd never seen or know before, the Turbo Camaro. Real nice people. And I didn't know what that car would run or anything, so I just kind of put my tune up in it, raced my lane. And got A to B pass. I mean, I think he made a full pass, but I got him pretty good on the lot. I just you know, did my thing. Then second round, I was paired up with a Fox body. I think about every car I left was a Fox body. <laughs> so I was paired up with a Fox body that seemed to be pretty serious from what I could tell in the videos I've seen of it the first round. So. And then y'all decided to set the start line for a buffet. Yeah, I'm not sure what was up with that. I mean, I talked to the guy before it ran. He seemed real nice. And I don't know if his car was having issues and trying to play like some games or something. But I've been burned down before, so I wasn't, you know, my car spools up fairly quick so I, I wasn't trying to go in first and be sitting on the brake forever because I had seen uh, somebody had a video of that car running first round and it spooled up you know rather slow so in my head you know, you know it probably would have benefited to talk about it beforehand but it is what it is and so I was already expecting him to be spooling up slow and I mean when I heard him going up I would have went up and we sat there for like a minute and a half and 
like I said, they're probably all night. I mean, I got 15 gallons of fuel, and I was watching my coolant temp go down as we were sitting. <laughs> I was yeah, down. I don't know if you paid any attention when I walked up the side of the car. That's why I peaked in and was glanced at the temperature right quick, and I was like, Phew, that thing's dropping. Yeah, it was getting pretty cool. But I think, I mean, I didn't have any intentions of sitting there, so I don't know if it was something he was trying to do, and I think it kind of backfired, and I think, I mean, I took, I let go of the button, and it went, and yeah. Never seen him. I think he knocked a tire or something. That's what they said. Yeah, no hard feelings towards him. Just yeah, I don't even know who he is or whatever. But it's kind of nervous about it because he said he did no prep with the car before. He said go down anything. I know the track was getting cold and stuff. So I was like, well, it should be a good race. And then just did his thing. Went down the track. Never seen him. And then ended up against Nigel with their. And it's got LT in it now, like a billet block deal. I mean, there was no chance there. You just look at the two cars and you can tell the difference, cage and everything. Ride height, every, everything. Not uh, knife two to different good, knife to a gun cars. fight. Yeah. I think he, he shook the tires a little bit up top and then it made it a little closer than what I thought it would have been. I think it was like maybe a car or so, I think. Yeah. But it gives you an opportunity to kind of see where your car stacks up. Yeah. And throughout those passes... You finally made it. Yeah. The four-second so, yeah. club. Got into the fours um, against the Fox body, I think, the, sec the, first, the second round. And did it again against Nigel, and it went a little bit faster. And then but we went back Saturday because I, I told Biggin at the track that if I did good Friday night, I'd come back Saturday. And right. shout out to Nigel. He, We talked about doing a little bit of a split before the we ran finals. And I, I, went, I wasn't expecting to win, so I was thinking, you know, maybe we just split it 15 and 5 because it was 2,000 to win. I'd have been happy with 500, and he ended up just splitting 50 50, so that was pretty cool. Uh, Sammy now said they just won one set of tires, but yeah. they got two, so. Yeah, shout out to them and Sammy on YouTube. Uh, you can put his link in there. Yeah. So it was pretty cool that they split it down the middle, cause knowing that they probably had the faster car for sure and the caliber of car difference. And then went back Saturday because, like I said, I told Big and if we made some money and come, we'd try to come back Saturday and because they're trying to build up their limited 28s class. Right. Kind of a, I wouldn't say budget. might could be more of a budget class, but it's like no billet blocks, stuff like that. We kind of yeah. described that in the video. Before we get to that, let's go back to Friday night for Modern. Oh, yeah. From Brandon. Yeah, Brandon. The first two rounds, I guess the foot brake cars are trying to get a little bit of a up on him. They'd push through the beams or red light, trying to just be on the light. When you race somebody that's a little faster, you definitely got to try to do what you well, can. Well, you got to just take a chance sometimes. Go for it. And then, well, did they have three or four rounds? I can't remember. Uh, let's see. You raced. Three or four, three or four rounds. Yeah. Anyways, he ended up winning the finals against the previous class winner, I think, that they won three or four times. So it was kind of cool. And, you know, he fit the rules for the class, so, I mean, I heard there was a little bit of chatter about him running, but it is what it is. I mean, if you fit the rules, then there's nothing you can do about it. Modify them and come back for the next one. True. Now Saturday? Yeah, that was the worser day for me. I was <laughs> it was a win-lose, win-win. Yeah. We can say we didn't get, we didn't go any fives for once. So yeah. It's consistently a four-second car. Yeah, that, that was not just a fluke pass. You no. backed it up. You get some people like you know that will go four nine 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 nine, but then never happens again. So it's like, well, was it just a, something flew in front of the beam or what happened? But yeah. My goal is if I did it one time, I want to do it again. Then I did it two more times on Saturday, and hoping I'd like to do it at some different tracks. So maybe we'll do some testing later this week at another track. Try to go there. And, Hopefully, whatever track we decide to go to this weekend, try to do it there. And I just want to keep building that stack of four second slips up. <laughs> uh, are you seconds. are you uh, pretty well satisfied with the car now? Yeah. Or how you know I I don't know if you really want to throw an actual four second ET out there that you want to actually see, or you just. I mean, I think it's still got some in the sixty foot, so I think it went low one twenty six foot. So if I get a mid. One teen, sixty foot somehow. I think it would. I mean, it went in the nineties. Obviously, it didn't yeah. just crush into the fours. But 
I think with a 1160 foot with where it went into the 90s like it wasn't just a 99 with a 9 it was deeper into the 90s I think with a little bit faster 60 foot it would go in the 80s right. and then that's also with the converter being really loose, loose. Any, anything above 30 pounds it's really not helping it it's just kind of riding making more heat hitting high gear is just kind of like cruise control you can see that in some of the videos where uh, like my race Jarrett you know, I mean obviously he probably had some power coming in there so I mean he just kind of drove away in high gear which if you look at a data log on mine and I've already sent it into Hughes they can tell it it's probably got 20 to 25 percent converter slip yeah. but it was nice to see where you stacked up especially with somebody like Jared which is a good racer yeah no one they're fast no and I can I mean I'm sure he's got a lot more left on tap but that kind of tells me where I can run with most of the other small tire cars in the area. Because he beats a lot of those other he ones. A lot, <laughs> a lot of them. It gives me hope for entering small tire other races now that we got the suspension lined out. I was pretty demotivated after the last race with the way things were working. So, and you get caught, like I said in the earlier video, you get caught slipping once. You try not to let it happen again. You just learn from your mistake and get better. Well, there you go. And it definitely well, got better. Well, maybe now that you're, uh, I guess, nine, hopefully 99% satisfied, you might, uh, you might, uh, you're going to let me and you, your mama and me have a turn racing this year now? Yeah. <laughs> as, long, as long as the converter takes a swap, y'all can race. Okay, that's fair that enough. Are you ready to race, honey? Yeah. Yeah, she's ready to race. But I, I know that was a big goal for you. You got it. We're there. You're there. Yeah, just because we got it don't mean we're stopping either. No, that's true. Yeah, keep pushing. I think with a converter change and a faster 60 foot, if it tightens up, I mean, I don't want to get it so tight that I can't run no prep, but right. if I can get within a 5% slip range, I, I mean, I know the faster you get, the harder it is to get faster, but I almost think at the weight it's at and the power level it's at, it might could dip into a high 70 if there it's 60 foot down. There you go. That's just, you know, keep going and at 3,500 pounds, if you could click all 479 or something, that would be pretty. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot of Coyote LS and LT debates going on and what's better and this and that, but there's not a lot of people locally that are pushing Coyote stuff. And I mean, obviously there's a bunch of them, but not, you know, on methanol or anything and running big injectors. Like, I mean, obviously I think the injectors are too big. I probably could have got by with a smaller set, but People told me you can't make this car idle with this injector that's in it and this and that. And a lot of doubters and, well, you don't need methanol. Well, I mean, it probably helps it quite a bit, but it's just something different, you know. It kind of, if someone's got the platform like this and they want to put it on methanol, they have somebody they could ask or talk to about it that's done it. Um, so, I mean, that's the thing. Everybody says, well, you can just put it in a Fox body or put an LS in it or this and that. But at the level of going a 480, 490, 470, it all costs the same. And I'm probably doing a little bit harder way with the heavier car. I mean, with a Fox body, it would be quite a bit faster. But at, I mean, even those, they said there's people at Mooresville talking about, I mean, in the class Saturday, it was three black Fox bodies. There's nothing wrong with that. But there's people in the crowd talking about, you know, it just kind of stuck out that there's one car that's totally different. I mean, I guess the, the color obviously helps too, but, you know, it's a newer modern car running with, you know, these Fox bodies and stuff that are, you know, low 3,000 pounds, you know. Well, I, mean, some, I don't know their exact weight, but. Some of the coyotes here lately, they're, you know, like Brett, and he's making some pretty good noise and steam yeah. with his, and people Jonathan out there in Texas. They, people see that, like, Brett's car, and they think, oh, well, that's out of reach. It's not really out of reach. I mean, people say this is, I mean, I could probably put this back on the E85 and it would probably run the same ET now, I think, just with the weight changes and stuff. And we may do that in the future, but I mean, it's a four second street car and people say it's not street because the fuel, but if it's every street car rule for every race, it can drive anywhere. I mean, literally with a change of a tune, you can put 93 in it. It, it probably won't idle the best with those injectors, but you can still drive it. I know it's early in the season. Um, you've, you've got a lot of races for us scheduled already. So, here we go. Um, any particular race? I got one coming up at the end of this month at Darlington, the backside. I think 
everybody runs Hoosier, the DO5s and this now on the backside. I don't think I'm going to go out on a limb and probably try something different. Try the tires that are on the car. Everybody I talk to says it's a stupid idea, but there was a couple cars in the race in February that went down that track on a pro bracket and they didn't white smoke the tires at all. I mean, I think as long as your power management's there and everything, I think it'll go down just as good as I me. Mean, I think the problem with my car on a the slick is it just crosses the sidewall so much. Yeah, it's pretty bad sometimes. So I don't know, I think we're gonna test it. We're gonna test it out here on the road in front that's just as bad as the as Darlington and see if we can get kind of close to where we could before with a slick out here and then try it out down there. And it's just something different. And then you never know if you do that then it gets you know, it gets more attention. Just doing something different. That's how I've always been. Just do things a little bit differently and you know, people catch on and they watch it. It was like I was saying a minute ago, you know, Brett and Jonathan out there in Texas, they're 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 doing making pretty good ways with their coyote cars. And these cars you're starting to see more and more of them, people trying to do more stuff with them. You don't see a lot of these body styles, no prep or anything. No. A lot of it's just radio prep, you know, I'm not saying slower, but like slower ish street car right. over, overdrive stuff. I mean they're flying with the overdrive transmissions, but for what we do the overdrive just isn't ideal for all the pedaling and, you know, no prep stuff. Well, I think it about gets it, don't it? Yeah. I think they're racing this weekend. Yeah. You ain't gonna say where? Uh, yeah. I ain't decided. <laughs> we pretty set on going to one place, but haven't said about going to the other. So we'll see. It just depends. I, mean, I got friends going to both places and people that we have going to both places. So we'll see where we end up at. It just depends. Hard to be we, everywhere at the same time. I'll let you know later in the week after we go test on Thursday. Sounds fair enough. Well, leave some comments. Let us know what you think. Finally, in the four second club. Yeah, four second street car. <laughs> unload it and go take it out to eat right now. You buying supper? I will. All right, guys, we got to go. He's buying supper. Catch us on the next one.